सो हेलो गाइस दिस इज अनदर वीडियो इन द जेनेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो वुड बी डीएनए डैमेज एंड द डीएनए रिपेयर मैकेनिज्म एंड दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर बोथ योर कॉलेज एग्जाम्स एंड द एमसीक्यूज ओके सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्टली वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द डीएनए डैमेज द टाइप्स ऑफ डीएनए डैमेज एंड वॉट आर द रीजन ऑफ द डीएनए डैमेज एंड देन वील टॉक अबाउट द various dna repair mechanisms involved in correcting those dna damage and if that dna repair mechanism fails then what are the associated clinical manifestations okay so we uh, let's get started so dna damage uh, may occur by free radicals may occur by physical agents like uv rays and x rays so uv rays you have studied the xeroderma pigmentosa we'll also be talking about it so in the uh uv rays induced damage the tt dimers or pyrimidin dimers these are formed theek hai chemical agents like aflatoxins which is which are released by poisonous mushrooms alkylating agents like alkylating agents uh, like guanosine can be converted to 6 methyl guanosine okay hydrazines and ozones and oxidative damage also now we come on to the types of dna damage so the dna damage they can be classified in four types so one of which is the single base alkyl uh, alterations so one of which is single base alterations which may be caused by single base alteration ka matlab kya hai ki ek base mein problem aayi hai theek hai so ya to base deaminate ho gaya like agar cytosine ki deamination karwa de what would be formed uracil would be formed likewise adenine undergoes a deamination to form hypoxanthine so it may be because of deamination because of depurination deletion or insertion of nucleotides or a single base and base analog incorporation base analog incorporation kya hua matlab similar bases like uracil ki jagah pe fluorouracil aa gaya 5 fluorouracil aa gaya and like alkylating agents i have given an example that 6 uh, methyl guanine ban gaya guanine se okay so normally guanine pairs with cytosine hai na but methyl guanine that is not going to pair with uh, cytosine so that would be a problem uh, so types of dna four types single base alteration then would be two base alteration if induced by uv light induced uh, tt dimer formation or pyrimidin uh, dimer formation or by alkylating agents then they may uh, be chain breaks chain breaks may be caused by the ionizing radiations or oxidative damage and finally the cross link formations between the bases of same or of opposite strand or it may also be between the uh, cross links formed between the dna and the protein okay so these uh, these were the types of dna damage dna damage char type ke hai single base alterations two base alterations chain breaks and the cross links now we come on to the dna repair mechanisms the dna repair mechanisms these are of five types we'll be talking about them individually first type is the mismatch repair which is called as mmr also it is also called as methyl directed mismatch repair methyl directed mismatch repair kyu kyunki see the parent strand how we how do we differentiate between the parent strand and the daughter strand once it is formed so newly dot uh, newly synthesized daughter strand ke paas abhi methylation nahi hua jabki parent strand ke paas methylation already present hai so hum methyl group ki presence se bata sakte hain कि टेम्पलेट स्टैंड कौन सा था इज दैट मच क्लियर सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस मिथाइल डायरेक्टेड मिस मैच रिपेयर एंड आई विल बी कमिंग ऑन टू द क्लिनिकल कंडीशन एसोसिएटेड अ बिट लेटर सो इसमें हुआ क्या मिस मैच रिपेयर में बेस मिस मैच हो गया सपोज ये टेम्पलेट स्टैंड है टेम्पले हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई अ टेम्पलेट स्टैंड फ्रॉम अ डॉटर स्टैंड सो आई हैव शोन टेम्पलेट स्टैंड वाई अ ब्लू पेन while the daughter strand that is shown by an orange pen so uh, the template strand is having a methyl group attached so now template strand mein thymine hai aur daughter strand mein cytosine hai ye mismatch ho gaya base ka mismatch ho gaya to ab hame ise correct karna hai theek hai now in any of the uh, we have seen that there are five types of uh, the repair mechanisms and in all of these five types of repair mechanisms four steps these are basic so what are the four steps which are basic to the dna repair mechanism pehle jo error hua hai usko recognize karenge so recognition then we'll remove that removal then the synthesis of new strand of dna and ligation 
these four basic steps these would be followed in all the types of dna repair mechanisms so now we come on to the uh, mismatch repair we uh, we shall continue with the, with the mismatch repair so first step which is recognition ki a base mismatch hua hai mismatch base hum present hai to kon recognize karega so it is recognized by in prokaryotes it is recognized by mute s h l protein and in the eukaryotes this is recognized by msh and the mlh protein complexes so names important in eukaryotes by msh and mlh protein complexes but in case of prokaryotes it is recognized by mute s h l protein right so once this recognition is done then is the removal of this mismatched base mismatched base ka hai template pe nahi hoga theek hai kahan par new daughter strand pe ho so removal is by the activity of endonucleases ab ye remove ho gaya so ab agla step kya hai dna polymerase yahan par add karega aur finally the nicking and sealing is done by the dna ligase okay now if there is a uh, some error or this repair mechanism that is not functional then what would be the disease uh, which uh, is the one uh, disease which is associated with it and it is also important to know so this uh, clinical condition is associ uh, associated with the mismatch repair uh, non functional mismatch repair that is hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer also this is called as the lynch syndrome and it is a pre cancerous condition which is because of the autosomal dominant trait autosomal dominant trait agar uh, found out wo trait kya karta hai msh protein mlh protein humne dekha tha these proteins are involved in the recognition of the mismatched base in case of eukaryotes agar it damaged hai to repair mechanism nahi ho payega and as a result this disease would occur which is hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer with this we come on to the second type of the dna repair mechanism which is the base excision repair now this base excision repair would correct the errors which may be caused by deamination depurination ya alkylating agents i have already said deamination ka matlab kya hai jaise cytosine deaminate hua kiski wajah se ho sakta hai nitrous oxide ki wajah se ho sakta hai kisi bhi chemical ki wajah se ho sakta hai it cytosine gets converted to uracil and if the same happens with adenine it is going to convert to hypoxanthine तो यहाँ पर हमने एग्जाम्पल किसका लिया है अगेन डीएमिनेशन का टेम्पलेट स्टैंड एंड ऑरेंज शोज दी डॉटर स्टैंड और द न्यूली सिंथेसाइज स्टैंड सो यहाँ पर नॉर्मली ग्वानिन और साइट्रोसिन पेयर करता है बट डीएमिनेशन की वजह से इट इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू यूरासिल तो अब वही फोर स्टेप्स पहला रेकग्निशन सो रेकग्निशन इज बाई यूरासिल डीएनए ग्लाइकोसाइडेज अब ये यूरासिल डीएनए ग्लाइकोसाइडेज क्या करेगा देखो एंजाइम मेथड का नाम क्या है बेस एक्सीजन तो बेस को हटाना है गलत बेस को हटाना है सो दिस कॉजेज ए निक बिटवीन बेस एंड शुगर शुगर और बेस के बीच में हमें पता है कि न्यूक्लियोटाइड दैट इज फॉर्म्ड बाय पेंटो शुगर बेस एंड दी फॉस्फेट सो ये बेस को हटाना है और एज अ रिजल्ट जस्ट शुगर एंड फॉस्फेट ग्रुप फॉस्फेराइल ग्रुप दैट रिमेन्स तो इसलिए फॉर्मेशन क्या करेगा एपीसाइड्स का Now what is AP site? It is either a purine or a pyrimidin site. मतलब वो site जहां पर nitrogenous base है ही नहीं It can be a purine, it can be a pyrimidin. ठीक है तो अगर है ही नहीं base, then that would be an AP site. तो अब अभी हम अभी तक हमने क्या किया पहला normal उसमें deamination से गलत base incorporate हो गया और हमने recognize उसे किसकी से किया यूरासिल डिपेंडेंट ग्लाइकोसाइडेस से किया और जो कि निक कॉज कर रहा है शुगर और बेस के बीच में बेस एक्साइज हो गया फॉर्म्स द एपी साइट्स अब एपी साइट्स हो गया पहला स्टेप रेकोगशन ओवर हो गया सेकंड स्टेप इज द रिमूवल ऑफ द एपी एंड रिमूवल ऑफ द एपी साइट्स मतलब आसपास के थोड़े से न्यूक्लियोटाइड को भी हटाना पड़ेगा दिस इज डन बाई एपी एंडो न्यूक्लियस विच फॉर्म्स अ गैप विच इज अगेन करेक्टेड बाई डीएनए पॉलिमरेज एंड फाइनली लाइगेटेड बाई डीएनए लाइगेस क्लिनिकल कंडीशन एसोसिएटेड विद द बेस एक्सीजन रिपेयर दैट इज द एम एम यू टी वाई एच एसोसिएटेड पॉलीपोसिस दिस इज नॉट मच इम्पॉर्टेंट बट स्टिल टू इंक्लूड क्लिनिकल कंडीशन एसोसिएटेड इज एम यू टी वाई एच एसोसिएटेड पॉलीपोसिस सो नाउ वी कम ऑन टू द न्यूक्लियोटाइड एक्सीजन रिपेयर एंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Uh, why because we see the condition of zero derma pigmentosa we will be talking about it so nucleotide excision repair it repairs what all conditions the tt dimer which is induced by the uv light so uh, uv light induced tt dimer formation or pyrimidine dimer formation 
टीसी क्रॉस लिंकेज फॉर्मेशन जो सपोज न्यूली सिंथेसाइज डीएनए में टीटी डाइमर का फॉर्मेशन हो गया अगेन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज रिकोगशन नॉट हेयर द रिकोगशन इज डन बाय द एक्सी न्यूक्लियसिस द रिकोगशन इज डन बाय द एक्सी न्यूक्लियसिस देखो पहले वाला हमने किया था मिसमैच रिपेयर देयर द रिकोगशन दैट वॉज डन बाय द दैट वॉज डन बाय द एम एस एच एंड द एम एल एच एम एस एच एंड एम एल एच प्रोटीन कॉम्प्लेक्सेज इन द यूक्रियॉट्स एंड द म्यूट एस एच एल इन द केस ऑफ प्रोक्रियॉट्स एंड इन द बेस एक्सिशन रिपेयर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन और रिकोगशन वॉज डन बाय यूरोसिल डिपेंडेंट ग्लाइकोसाइडेज ठीक है देयर द रिकोगशन वॉज डन बाय यूरोसिल डिपेंडेंट ग्लाइकोसाइडेज हेयर इन द न्यूक्लियोटाइड एक्सिशन रिपेयर द रिकोगशन इज डन बाय द एक्सी न्यूक्लियसिस फिर सेकेंड स्टेप इज अगेन द रिमूवल ऑफ द सेगमेंट टीटी डायमर एंड सर्टन एडजस्टेड न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स एक्स्ट्रा न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स उसके बाद क्या होगा गैप फॉर्म हो जाएगा विच इज करेक्टेड बाय द डीएनए पॉलीमरेज एंड फाइनली इट इज सील्ड बाय द एक्टिविटी ऑफ डीएनए लाइगेस ठीक है नाउ द क्लिनिकल कंडीशन विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद द नॉन फंक्शनल न्यूक्लियो और प्रॉब्लम विद द न्यूक्लियोटाइड एक्सेशन रिपेयर दैट इज जीरो डर्मा पिगमेंटोजा so in this zero derma pigmentosa uv light induced formation of tt dimers are present person is sensitive to the sunlight and uh, this is characterized by multiple freckle formations in the area which is exposed to the sun and this is a precancerous condition okay so nucleotide excision repair now we come on to the fourth type of dna repair mechanism which is the double strand break repair and these double strand breaks may occur because of ionizing radiations or oxidative stress so there's a template strand and you are having the double stranded breaks so uh, these next uh, these double strand breaks these are identified by the k4 proteins then k4 proteins these attach to the ends and this recruits the dna uh, protein kinases so k4 protein also recruits the dna protein kinases and this these dna protein kinases these will cause the approximation of the cut ends and also these will again stimulate the k4 proteins and the cycle continues and this would result then the there would be the unwinding which was, which would be caused by helicase and finally the removal of the unwanted nucleotide the pehla kya tha recognition which is done by k4 proteins which induces or recruits the dna protein kinase which causes the approximation of the ends and finally the unwinding activity by helicase occurs and second step which was the removal of unwanted nucleotide occurs so this and then there is the activity of dna polymerase and finally the ligation theek hai now the clinical condition which is associated with this double strand break repair of dna it is ataxia telangiectasia like disorder and fanconia anemia fancon fancones anemia sorry uh, and this fancones anemia this is an aplastic and uh, this will result in aplastic of erythrocytes aplastic anemia and the bloom syndrome so questions may be asked which of these is the disorder which is related with the double strand break mechanisms and uh, the last mechanism uh, which remains in the dna repair that is the direct repair and the direct repair is important in the pyrimidine dimer formation alkylating uh, so uh, this uh, repairs those conditions which may be caused by pyrimidine dimer formation or alkylating agents or modified base so alkylating agents ke example liya hai that guanine may be converted to 6 methyl guanine and this is corrected and the enzyme involved would be methyl transferase so this was all uh, about the video and this is an important topic guys and uh, i'm ending my video so thanks for watching and please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you